This year, thousands of temperature records are being set. The hottest, the wettest, the driest. Forests are blazing. Extreme droughts are threatening our food supplies. Sea levels are rising, and the ice caps of the world are melting. Climate change is happening now, in real time, and it's going to affect us all. The sky does not belong to Exxon. The reason that it's so great the reason that it's so great that we're occupying Wall Street that we're occupying Wall Street is because Wall Street is because Wall Street has been occupying the atmosphere has been occupying the atmosphere So far since Kyoto we've accomplished essentially nothing as a planet to deal with climate change In the end it's not a technical issue it's a power issue what it, there is is uh, enough power in the fossil fuel industry to block any actual change in the way that the world's economy behaves. What we see is that the solutions to the economic crisis are the same solutions um, that we need for the ecological crisis, because we aren't just facing an economic crisis. We're, we are facing a profound ecological crisis that is intimately linked to the same greed-based economic model, growth-based economic model, a model that can't ever say enough or have enough, that has no breaks. I mean, this same mentality that trashes people, trashes the planet. This movement against the Keystone XL pipeline, uh, the Occupy movement, uh, you know, Arab Spring, these are all signalers, I believe, of what is essentially the emergence of the world's biggest and most profound social movement. You know, we know that the system is broken, it was designed that way, it was designed to exploit, and we need a new economic paradigm, one that doesn't sacrifice communities at the altar of irresponsible economic policies for the benefit of the privileged few. For our time, this is what the civil rights movement was. This is the question on which you'll be counted uh, uh, 50 years and 100 years and 1,000 years hence. We're living at the moment when the most important thing that's ever happened on our planet is happening. And there is no love quite like that, you know. Um, the willingness to put it all on the line for your neighbors, for future generations, for the rest of creation.